Hi developers, I'm Hossein Billah, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use navigation service with Xamarin Forms applications to use MVVM design pattern. So in a traditional application, the way we do navigation is by calling a button. Here I have in this application a first page and second page. Here I want to go from the first page to the second page. For that, I have created here a clicked uh, event handler. That clicked event handler will just call the navigation property within the content page. Then call the method push model async. And here I'm giving it the name of my uh, user interface that I want to show in my app. So this is what we do in a traditional application. And this is actually uh, ease bed with MVVM because in MVVM we should think about separation of concerns. We should think about the testability or the unit tests for our application. And doing this from the code behind Doing the navigation from this uh, part of the application is not good for these two aspects. So we need to change that. And here, there are some couple of uh, options, or only there is an option that is to use the navigation service. What the navigation service is, the navigation service will help us to navigate from one page to other page, not from the code behind, but from the view model. So let's take a look at that. So here for using navigation service, we have some platforms that already uses navigation service, such as Prism for Xamarin Forms. So here I have created a new project. And here I have added the required files or the required uh, configuration to uh, use navigation uh, using the Prism uh, platform. So what I have done here, I have gone to the uh, portable project, manage nugget packages, I have added the uh, prism.forms and prism.unity.forms uh, nugget packages to my uh, projects. Then this will pull down all the dependencies for using navigation service with uh, Prism. For that, you see here at the app.xaml.cs. Here I'm inheriting not from the application but from Prism application and I'm calling on initialize it to make the navigation to my main page. And you see here I'm passing some parameters. And here I'm registering my types for navigation, which are here the first, uh, uh, the main page and uh, first page. And here I want to navigate from first page, from main page to a uh, first page. So the way to do that, here I have my two um, properties. I have main page, and inside the main page, you see here I'm adding uh, the XML namespace for my prism, and I'm calling this property out to wire view model equal true. This means I will associate a view model with this view because MVVM have the three parts, uh, views, models, and the view models. And each view model should be uh, bound to a certain view. So here I'm binding the view model to this view. And the view model by convention, by naming convention, will be named main page view model. For that, here I have inside my view models folder, I have main page view model. This is my main view model that will be bound with my main page. Here you see I have some uh, initialization. So here I'm using the navigation service, this object that we talked about. And using the navigation service, uh, we can navigate to a certain page and here you see we are giving the name of the page instead of its type because we want not to uh, reference uh, a view within the view model. We can do the uh, vice versa but not uh, this way. So here we are navigating through this uh, line. We are navigating to the first page. And also you see here that we can uh, pass some parameters. 
So now the navigation is done within the view model. This is what we want to achieve in order for our, for our application to be uh, unit testable and also uh, have a separation of concerns. Uh, you see also here that I'm initializing a navigation service from the constructor and here because uh, I already installed prism.unity.form it will install um, unity uh, container to resolve these for my application. So this way we are navigating to the first page and passing some parameters. Actually, we can get these parameters from the first page view model instead of getting these parameters from the view. Now we can get them from the view model and this is uh, why uh, Prism is really uh, good here. We can get these parameters from the on navigated to of the first page, the page that we want to visit. And here you see I'm inheriting or I'm implementing the iNavigation aware interface. And from that, it will give me this uh, method on navigated to. And from this parameters uh, parameter, I will get the parameters that were passed from the previous page. Good. In addition to that, we can also uh, navigate back to the first page. For that, here I have from my main page. I have the same here. I'm binding this first page with my first page view model. And when I click on a button uh, navigate or navigate back, I will go back to my uh, first page. And that by calling the, um, actually, that should be done by calling the navigate back command that will do here. Uh, go back async. So actually here I should call this navigate back command. Should put it right here. Good. Uh, you see here that um, I'm binding to my um, first page view model, but I don't get IntelliSense here to recognize all the properties inside the first page view model that one of the downsides of using auto wire view model equal true instead of using explicitly the binding context. So this is how a navigation service works with Prism. You can get of course um, a better uh, demo on this uh, YouTube video by done by Brian Lagunas. And of course, you can also go and implement your own navigation service. You can take a look at the code for the Prism uh, dot forms, and you can inspire to uh, build your own navigation service for your own application. Here, I have uh, tried to do that. So here in this third application, call it NCDM. Here, I'm, I created an interface call it a navigation service. This interface have the method for navigate to second page and another method for navigate back. Here of course you can add methods for navigate, for example navigate to third page, navigate to fourth page and so on. Then in the services folder I'm adding the implementation of that interface. I call it, it navigation service. And here, uh, I implement the navigate to second page. And I do the navigation as we do it in the traditional application, but here from within the service. We saw that in a traditional application, we do call the navigation property, which is inside the content page or inside a page. And here we, we, do, we do not inherit from a page or from a navigation page. So we don't get the navigation property uh, directly for that. We'll call a method get, get current page. This method will try to get the current page 
that is shown in my application by calling application.current.mainpage.navigation.navigation stack last or default and this one will return my current page when I get that current page now I can call navigation.push model async and pass my view to that method so here I'm passing the type of my view uh, but here it's okay because I can uh, because I can mark this a navigation service when I'm uh, writing unit tests and by doing that I can hide this second page and choose some other parameters or even change completely the implementation of navigate to second page the same we are doing here with navigate back here we are getting the current page then calling navigation dot pop model icing this will try to get back to the previous page so this is our navigation service this navigation service will be used then in my portable project inside with the view models so for my main view model here uh, I should um, pass that a navigation service from the constructor uh, and if you are using an IOC container like unity autofax inject or whatever then uh, they could resolve that for you and create an instance of navigation service and inject it inside this uh, constructor then you will be able to use navigation service dot navigate to second page or navigate back but here I'm not using it uh, for the sake of this demo instead here I'm initiating or I'm creating a new instance of navigation service and pass that okay, and use that instance from my navigate command and navigate back command to, sec to um, call navigate to second page and to navigate back and of course we are using these commands from our views so here inside the first page uh, now I'm using binding context because I'm not using prism here and then inside the navigate button I'm calling navigate command and this will go to execute my navigate command which will go to navigate to my second page from the first page so I hope this video or could be helpful for you and if you want to take a look at the source code then you can go to the github to this repo here and then uh, from here you will get all the source code for all the three um, applications that shows the traditional way for using navigation service how to use it with prism and then how to implement it uh, yourself so thank you